Can you see the camera? No. Can you see the camera? Can you see the camera? Wow. Hello everybody, this is Christopher and Selena and Cruz. It has been a long time since we've uh, checked in with y'all, I guess video wise. Uh, Cruz is now 11 months old and is, he's growing too fast, <laughs> too fast. Um, a few things, uh, he has been eating real food, like real people food, not just baby food. Um, and he's been doing that pretty much since what? Four, yeah, four five, five months. Four or five months old. Yeah. Um, he is, I, I think y'all probably missed, or oh, we probably hadn't really posted a, a lot about the, he's crawled, and now he's in the walking stage. Um, when did he start crawling? That was December, so he's probably. So like Christmas, yeah. yeah. Christmas. Christmas at like six months old. Yeah, he's like six months old. And then he started pulling up at like what seven months yeah. maybe. Uh, really, he started pulling up like pretty much the week or two after he started crawling. Yeah, and then the steps came around eight months. Like yeah. he'll he would take a step or two, like eight and a half months. So he would he would be crawling around like I mean not crawling, walking around, holding on to tables or holding on to the table. <laughs> Hold on to like the table or the couch and things like that. And uh, he's a little goofball, so as you can tell, he likes to laugh a lot. <laughs> yeah. So um, he likes to laugh. He likes to throw stuff. He likes to bang stuff. Bang stuff. He likes to bam, 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 bam everything. He's bam, yeah, bam, 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 bam. Um, his. I don't know, does, does he have a favorite food? I think everything is favorite food. I mean, initially it was sweet potatoes, but then we found very few things that he just flat out won't eat. Um, the only thing we found is like pureed baby, you know, Gerber green beans. Yeah, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that, but pretty much everything else he'll eat. He likes fruit, he likes everything. Likes vegetables, he eats fish, he eats yeah. all kinds of everything. Um. As you can tell, he's down now. He will try to walk everywhere. Um, and I will say, as a like a parent, you kind of want him to, you want him to have independence, but then it's like you don't want it too fast. And so he kind of went from like walking or like taking steps to walking full on trying to house. walk around the house. And he really started walking in like ten months. So. This is 11 months right now, but at this point he is like taking a toy and walking all around the house or he'll walk out of the living room and try to walk into his bedroom. So this is where, you know, obviously the time that I guess people are getting baby gates and things like that. Yep. You kind of want to have them have a safe area that they can explore. You don't want to constrict him so much, but also need to make sure that you're keeping them safe away from crazy things. Yep. Where are you going? Um, so, I mean, it's been really fun. He's a very, I think it's very fun because he likes to have fun. He likes to play so much. Um, and then he's As also, you can see. yeah, exactly. He also is at the stage to where you have to tell him no or tell him to stop because he. Oh, he started that. You no, know, he started then like months ago, but yeah. we really are at a point to where we have to go cruise, stop, cruise, no. But I mean, not right now. He can play now. Clappy, clappy, clappy! Yay! Yay! I mean, he's a very, very playful and smiley baby. Um, what's some other things? Um, as far as checkups with the doctor, so we had one at six months, um, and then did we do a month, a nine month? Yeah, a six month, a nine month, and then we go back next month for his one year. Yep. Um, everything's been doing well um flu season was horrible mm -hmm. uh, but we all kind of skated by so we did good on that i think he got what like one little cold yeah. around um christmas yeah and oh we did have a we did have like we don't know what happened Just interrupt me i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i was gonna get there okay well i'm gonna let her finish 
then uh, we, what did we do? Oh, we were, we took a trip to visit family. And so we were in another state and he had, um, I guess his nose was kind of running yeah. like that evening before we left in yeah. the morning that we got on the flight. Yeah. And, uh, but he was pretty good on the flight and then we got there and he was okay. And then a the couple days in, he just was really sick. His fever spiked up and um, up to like 102.5, I think, is the highest we saw it. Yeah, it was high. So we couldn't figure out because he was acting normal. Whenever he was feeling okay, he was acting like he normally does. But then um, his fever would jump up and we would give him medicine and it would go back down for a little bit and then jump right back up. Um, he had no other symptoms. We ended up having to take him to an urgent care since we were out of state. They did a test for strep. They did a look at his ears because they thought maybe an ear infection. Couldn't figure out anything. So um, I've been told something about like a, what did they say? A fever, fever flu or yeah. I don't know. something of that nature to where it's, oh, a fever bug. Yeah. Where it's kind of just like a little something. I don't know, obviously something probably viral in nature that they catch it spikes their fever and then it goes back down because probably within what two days it was back yeah. down and back to normal and i don't know we have also discovered through that process that he is allergic to amoxicillin yeah um i guess outside of that we kind of thought that maybe that it was maybe the climate or something that we went because it was way different from arkansas but i don't know I don't know. um in the meantime I guess from the last video, he's been on two, well, two different trips where we are, were on airplanes. We got on the airplane two times. We went to Detroit and to New to Mexico, and he did really well the first trip to Detroit, and did really well on the first leg to New Mexico. But it was like. On the but way, on the way back, I mean, he wasn't feeling well. Yeah, so exactly. we're gonna say it was that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna say. <laughs> we're gonna say it was that because the other. Um, to and from Detroit and to New Mexico was all fine and easy, so. So, I mean, like, advice on in, any parent that's going to have kids flying. If you haven't flown with a child that's this young, like, just make sure you have snacks. And make sure mm -hmm. you have everything, um, I guess, kind of organized. Or, and make sure your shoes, <laughs> shoes are easily taken off. One thing um, I didn't know that I had to kind of call airlines and TSA about was how to travel with baby stuff, you know. Um, you have to make sure that you have enough formula and breast milk and you have these limitations of getting through security of what you are allowed to carry on. Um, generally, TSA will not restrict how much you're bringing. Uh, obviously, if you start bringing gallons of things, but I went through with what six little um, instant to go formulas, four bottles full yep. of breast milk, yep. um, all kinds of stuff, and they just want it uh, separated so that they can check it um, and make sure that that's ex you know what it is. You're not trying to sneak anything else through, but they let all of that go. So there's not a specific restriction on liquids with regards to anything having to do with an infant so medicine formula breast milk snacks um, even I think maybe even water for them um, um, I don't think we took water at that point if you separate it they'll go through it and they'll let it they'll allow you to carry that on yeah um, other than that he's been his sleep schedule has been fairly fine whenever his teeth were actually cutting uh, How many teeth do you have now, Cruz? You say I, I have five teeth. Five. Yeah, he has five. Five he has, teeth. He has two up top and then three on the bottom. Um, and he uses them. No, do you have, you have six no, he, now. He has six now. He's going to smile. Because he's got the two in the middle, the two on the top, the one that came in on that side yeah. first, and now the other one's got okay, so six. Okay, so he won't, he shows them, but he won't let us feel them. He hates for us to put our fingers in his mouth for some reason. Um, but he likes to use them. He likes to crunch on everything. If he has any crunchy food, he makes sure to use his teeth first. And he likes to do that a lot. He's a goofball. Um, what else? He's getting, he, I don't know how much 
we filled you guys in on this, but he was getting really bad about the car seat. Yeah. I think we talked about that a little bit. And now this, the tide is starting to turn a little bit. He's starting to get a little bit better in the car seat. Um, we figured out a method that we just give him like a little snack bottle, like two ounces or so, right? Like we literally snap him in the car seat and then stand with the door open and give him a little two ounce bottle. And then we say, okay, it's time to go. And we get in the front and we're usually good. He'll either sit back there and just look out the window or he'll fall asleep. Um, but obviously if it's a long, long ride, he'll start to get a little yeah. antsy. Um, what else? We've avoided road trips up yeah. until this point because of that. That's why yeah. we made flights <laughs> instead. Exactly. Flights are, were met way, way easier. Way, 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 way easier. Just because we don't have to have them strapped in, you know. We yeah. Can and from a mommy standpoint, if you are nursing, definitely that was super easy oh, yeah. for, on the plane, you know, um, because that way anytime they started cranking up or moving, um, it helped go, helps them take a nap, go to sleep. So um, definitely that was helpful that I was still nursing too. Yeah. Um, we haven't cut his hair yet. We won't until one year birthday. That's pretty much it. Yeah. He's a, he hasn't, I mean, you, we hear horror stories, not say horror stories, we hear stories of like people going, oh my gosh, you know, the first one can, you know, do whatever to your spirits or whatever, but Cruz has been really good. He's, I mean, like I said, he has, he has a stubborn side to him, but... <laughs> But I mean, there's. I think he gets that from that's some family. That's not stubborn. Memory. No, that's it's just independence. Stubbornness. <laughs> um, but for the most part, he's 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 really good. He doesn't, you know, he likes to do what he wants to do. But it's like, son, you can't do that. Um, and we've been good. I mean, I, he hadn't broken our spirits. I think we want to have five. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, we, no, no! Don't oh, eat the mold. <laughs> We hadn't taught him how to eat mulch yet. <laughs> um, so it's been a fun experience, and we, we're just excited to see him keep growing and learning because he learns every day. So yeah. It seems like he knows so much. Like yeah. he, I think I read a thing and it said that by now they should recognize like 20 phrases or words, and I feel like his is more than that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, like, he knows a lot. That's all I know. Yeah. Um. So that's pretty much it for the. Uh, all the months up to 11 months um we will we will check back in for his one year birthday um and uh i will have or we will have some video footage of him crawling and walking because he walks all over the place <laughs> all over the place so anything else i think that's it i think that's it so we're gonna say Bye bye and ta ta for now. You gonna wave? Yeah, bye bye. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye. Bye. You gonna say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye bye.